name's Amanda and welcome to the 10th block tutorial in my Star Sampler Quarter With Me series. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous Martha Washington star. This beautiful block features a very lovely pinwheel unit in the center, which is then surrounded by very basic and lovely half square triangle units. In my block, I chose to use two contrasting fabrics to showcase the beautiful pinwheel unit that we have in the center. And I think it also just adds a really lovely point of interest in the block. It adds movement and I think just makes it look really quite cool and nice and fun and lovely. As always, you will find all of the measurement and cutting instructions for this block in the description box below. Just click on the little show more little thing down there and it will open up and you'll see all of them there. There is also a link in the top of the description that will lead you to the pattern sheet that you can download and print out and follow along with as you make the block. And so with all of that said, let's get into how we make the Martha Washington star. The fabrics I'm using to make block 10 include the kerchief solid for the background, print shop starry in seashell for the center pinwheel, and then notorious in black cat for the outer half square triangles. To make the Martha Washington star block, you will need to cut one four and a half inch square, six four inch squares, and four three and a half inch squares from your background fabric one four and a half inch square from your first print fabric and then four four inch squares from your second print fabric first place the four three and a half inch background squares to one side then pair four of the four inch background squares with the four second print fabric squares and place them to one side with the leftover pieces place the remaining two four inch squares to the side leaving behind the two four and a half inch squares to be made into a half square triangle unit. To do this, mark a diagonal line on the lightest colored square with a ruler and pencil. Pair this square evenly together with the other, right sides facing, and then pin them into place. At the sewing machine, place the foot along the left hand side of the line and sew a quarter inch seam down it. Then turn the squares around and sew another quarter inch seam along the other side of the pencil line. Using a ruler and blade, cut the squares in half along the center line and then press each half square triangle unit open with a medium to hot steamy iron, ensuring the seam is lying towards the darker side of fabric. Next, quickly and accurately square up each unit to a perfect 4 inch square using a set square ruler or equivalent. Next, grab the two 4 inch background squares placed to the side earlier and mark a diagonal line along one side of each. Then evenly pair and pin each of these with a half square triangle unit, ensuring that the marked pencil line is running in the opposite direction to the seam on the half square triangle unit. Like before, start sewing a quarter inch seam along the left hand side of the marked line. Chain stitch the next one through, sewing in the same way. Then turn the units around and sew another quarter inch seam down the other side of the line. Snip the joining threads and then carefully cut each one in half with a ruler and blade. Then press the seam on all four of the half quarter square triangles towards the background fabric triangle piece. To finish these units, square each one up to a perfect 3.5 inch square using your set square ruler again. To make the center pinwheel, carefully lay out the four half quarter square triangles into this design. Starting with the top row, flip one unit over onto the other, nesting the center seams of the half quarter square triangle units, and then pin them evenly into place. Then do the same with the other pair of half quarter square triangle units. Sew through one pair of units, keeping true to a quarter inch seam. Then chain stitch the next one through in the same way. Quickly snip the joining threads and then press each of the center seams open flat to reduce bulk in the block. Next, turn one row over onto the other in the correct layout. Evenly line up the center seams and pin it and the rest of this edge together. 
sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge, taking your time as you feed through the centre seams of the block. Then gently press flat open the seam at the back and then turn it over and give the top a good press too. Lastly, square up your pinned wheel block so that it measures a perfect 6.5 inch square. Next, grab the pile of 4 inch squares set aside earlier. Mark a line on one side of each of the four lightest fabric squares with a pencil and ruler. Pair and pin these evenly together with the other 4 inch print squares. One after the other, sew a quarter inch seam along the pencil line in the same way as before. Then turn the chained squares around and sew down the other side of the centre line. Snip all of the joining threads and then carefully cut each one in half, resulting in eight half square triangle units. Press each one open at the ironing board with the seam pressed towards the darker side of fabric. Then square up all eight half square triangles to a perfect three and a half inch square. Next, lay out two of the half square triangle units in this way. Flip one over onto the other and pin them evenly together. Sew a quick quarter inch seam along the pinned edge and then press the centre seam flat open with the iron. Repeat this step three more times so that you end up with four sets of half square triangle flying geese units. Once all of the elements to the block have been made, lay them out into the Martha Washington style block design, using the pattern sheet as a guide if needed. Starting with the middle row, flip one flying geese unit over onto the pinwheel centre unit. Evenly line up the centre seams with one another and pin the edge securely into place. Then do the same thing with the opposite side. Sew a quarter inch seam down both sides, making sure all of the centre seams are lying flat before feeding them through. Then press each of the seams inwards towards the pinwheel centre unit. Next, move on to piecing the top and bottom rows by turning each of the outer corner units over onto the flying geese units. Evenly pin each one into place and then sew a quarter inch seam along all four of the pinned edges. Press each of these seams outwards towards the outer corner units and then lay the rows back into their original positions. Flip the top row over onto the middle one and evenly line up the centre seams. Pin it into place and then nest and pin together the two outer seams along with the rest of this edge. Sew a quarter inch seam carefully down this side ensuring each of the seams are lying flat and in the correct direction before sewing over them. Then gently press this seam outwards towards the top row of the block. Turn over the last row of the block and evenly line up together the centre seams again. Pin it into place along with the two evenly nested outer seams and the rest of this top edge. Sew one last quarter inch seam along this pinned side, paying attention to where your seams are lying once more. Press the seam outwards like before and then give the top of the completed block a nice gentle press. Lastly, square up the finished block so that it measures approximately 12 and a half inches squared. So now that we have block 10 made, we only have two more blocks to go in the series. Then I will be showing you how to piece them all together to make our quilt. The last two blocks that I have to show you are just as good as all of the rest have been and I'm very excited to show you what they are. Don't forget to keep sharing your beautiful blocks with me over on Instagram using the hashtag Amanda's Quilt Along and also on my Facebook page, just tag me at three and three quarters and I will see everything that you are making. And so until I get block 11 done and dusted for you, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye.